Hey guys, Survival Farmer here. Welcome back to part two of my survival challenge on No Man's Land by Alien Jim. So for those of you that watched part one, you know that we got our grass field cut yesterday. Well, not really grass field, but our our land. Um, so the main goal for today is I want to get these planks sold off before they drop any lower. I also want to get the mushrooms sold off. I know that um, they do go up next month. So if I go into the prices here, I go to mushrooms where are they here they are so the mushrooms actually do do go up a little bit next month but because it's early i can't really afford to wait i sort of want to get as much money as i can because i still have so much equipment to buy so i'm going to get yeah like i said i'm going to get the mushrooms and also uh the planks sold off the flowers i'm not going to sell they're too low for me to justify selling and i'm going to get plenty of money from the mushrooms and planks anyway so I'll just keep storing the flowers somewhere, maybe just in the middle there where they are. And you know, even while that does that, I might even start moving some pellets here, just to get them spawning in. I'll quickly move some mushrooms, just let production get started. Because um, when the spawn zone fills up and their storage fills up, they actually stop producing mushrooms. So. You know, make sure that doesn't happen. See how more pellets are spawning out now? And then the mushrooms, or the greenhouses rather, will actually kick in again and start spawning more. Because it frees up the storage. So, let's get a few of them moved. That'll do. I'm going to get them loaded up in a minute anyway. Uh, those flowers can go there. Doesn't have to be neat or anything. I can pick them up by hand, so it's not really a, an issue. Alright, so I emptied that out. So that would have given both greenhouses actually quite a bit. So this is why the this is why the supplementary tanks are so good because now you can see both greenhouses are like this one's full because that's the water tank on the flowers is what I was filling up. This one still needs to be filled up. That's just the mushrooms, but they they do both share the water in the supplementary tanks. So I'll get this filled up. I'm pretty sure the sawmill would still be doing all right. Um, so I really just want to get these planks loaded up, get the mushrooms loaded up and then see what we can make. Uh, that did take a while but we have got so many pellets on here um, yeah I, I know we're gonna get quite a lot of money for this which is great we're gonna have enough money to get ourselves a, the pit we'll be able to do the silage today we'll also be able to get ourselves a plow and a cedar uh, we can start doing our first field if we get the time and I do think I'm gonna plant grass in the first field uh, just, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of silage at the start just to get some money, so it's going to keep us busy when we have nothing else to do. So I think it's just a good investment to make. So I'm pretty excited to see what we get for this. I mean, it's a pretty big load. This trailer is extremely wide. 
which is good. You can fit like, oh, you'd be able to fit four or even five pellets if you really wanted to squeeze just as much as you could on. Alright, so I'll try and get it all in one go. And look at that money go up. That. 77,000. Then we've got these last four pellets sold off here. Wow. So about 90, 96,000. So almost 100,000 for those pellets. That's insane. Um, yeah, that gives us so much money to use. So that investment that we made in the first episode, buying those, those, uh, the sawmill and the greenhouses has already paid off, paid itself off, and we haven't even sold the flowers yet. So <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, I have enough to buy a second plot if I, if I really wanted to, but there's other things that we need to get sorted first. I probably should have, while I was there, bought the windrower and stuff, and I could have towed it back on the trailer, but I just get this dropped off. I want to get the greenhouses filled up anyway. And then, yeah, the first task for today is going to be getting this all rowed up. We'll get ourselves a forage wagon. We'll get the pit down. And we'll try and get as much grass into the pit today as we can. So I'll just drop this trailer off over here out of the way. I'll also just go ahead, I'll check how the greenhouses and stuff are sitting, so they do need a little bit. I could probably, wouldn't hurt to run uh, a big tree to the sawmill quickly, then that's out of the way. Oh, this is empty. Did I forget to fill it up? I must have forgot to fill it up. Hmm. Come on, what are you doing? Ah, uh, well... I'll get this filling up and I'll just pull a log or two while I wait. Uh, that'll get all the production sorted for the day. We can just focus on the grass and get as much done of that as we can. And yeah, hopefully we can get some ploughing and seeding underway. I'm going to also need to get a, a fertilizer spreader. Um, I'll also need to put some lime down. I do have precision farming enabled, but. I'm thinking I'm going to disable that um, because I realised that Chainsaw and Daggerwind aren't using precision farming so I'm not sure if that's going to affect in terms of you know advantages and stuff like that I don't want to have an advantage over them I want to play by the exact same rules as them and precision farming sort of changes those rules drastically so I might end up disabling that but I'll see I'll see what I, I think I should do before the next episode. I'm not going to worry about it now. For now, let's just get another tree cut down. Get that as close as we can. That's pretty well perfect. We'll cut this one down as well. And I'm hoping this can tow two trees at once. I don't see why it wouldn't. They're only the, the smaller of the large trees. So the 25 meter ones. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. But... Nevertheless, we will get this pulled a little bit closer. There we go. Now, I should be able to get these out of here. Without too much hassle. I might as well grab this log while I'm on the way. Cool. Oh, there's another one. Huh, didn't even see that. So yeah, you can take four trees with this. I'm not sure if this will be able to pull four larger trees, so that's why I'm not doing it. I could try it, but I mean, it's not that important. I'm only gonna be doing one or two trips anyway. We'll get this pulled into here. Beautiful. Okay, so I gave it about seven, 8,000 liters. I'll do one more trip. Might as well just keep clearing trees on this side, to be honest. Try pulling more than more than two. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we'll give it a go. I uh, see there's a couple in a the line that I can 
take with me here if I line it up properly. So I sort of ruined that, but I mean it'll work. I'll just have to push it back a little bit. So I'll do that, and then I should be able to pull this one a little bit closer to this one. Can I grab that big one there? Is that going to reach? Nope. Damn. Alright. Well, I may have stuffed this up here. <laughs> here we go. Now I've got it. So you can use the back of it as like a, a, a plate. You can use the push logs. Let's just try and grab this one as well. So we'll go for three logs at once. I mean, what? Might be able to handle this. Alright, they're all connected. And yeah, that's pulling that. We've got too many hassles. I mean, it is struggling a little bit. Maybe four would be a bit too much, but three trees is great. That'll be the sawmill sorted for today. And potentially tomorrow. So, 23,000 litres. So that's over two days worth of production. So we do have time now to focus on our field. We don't have to stress about the sawmill. Uh, we're also going to be collecting the pallets. I mean, we might be selling another load at the end of the episode just to get rid of them before the price drops. But we won't be selling pallets for a while after that. Now this should be full. Get these filled up. I'll move this pallet. So I do have all these flowers here still. I'll sell those uh, in a few episodes time. I'm in no rush to sell the flowers. I'll yeah wait until I need some money and yeah it'll be good to sell them all as a big chunk and we can use that to buy another plot or something like that. So I'm hoping I have enough to fill this up. Okay, didn't fill it up. That's that's all right. We've got a refilling here. And we'll get to the shop. Because we have $119,000. And we have some equipment that we need to buy. So. First things first, we need a windrower. I'm going to try and just get a cheap one. I don't want to over, overspend because I'm going to have a, a much better mowing setup in the near future. Maybe a couple episodes time. But I'll also need a forage wagon. I still need to buy the pit. But I'm going to pick the grass up before I do that. Because I'll be building that on an area that we've already mowed. So. I am using the Lizard 6 meter and 9 meter plow. Just because... Honestly, I don't know, I, yeah, want to get the, the fields ploughed a little bit faster. It does take a long time to plough fields, so I'm just going to use the bigger one. Um, I would eventually just upgrade to a bigger plough in like two episodes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the plough that I'm talking about is this one here. So I'm not going to be buying this now, but I will be buying this, and you can hook it on backwards. So it, as you can see, it works like a cultivator. So because Chainsaw and Daggerwind are using cultivators as plows, I can't do that because I'm on console. So to con compensate for that, I'll be using this. So it is technically a plow, but you can put it on backwards and use it, I guess, like a, like a blade. So yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get ourselves a windrower. So... We don't want to spend too much. I mean, this one looks pretty good already. 1300. It's got 6.5 meter width. This one's 7 meter. It's 14,000, so it's quite a lot, quite a bit more money. This one's 4.6 meters. Um, I mean, that one's not too bad. 8.4 meters, so it is a bit bigger. But again, it's 20,000 dollars. I think I'm just going to go for the nice cheap one here. 
I'll just stick with the red color theme that we have going on here. Um, I will need a forage wagon, so I think I'm just going to get the cheap one for now. Um, I'll upgrade it to a large capacity so it can hold 13 meters cubed. Um, I mean, it's only 300. Nah, I'm going to get rid. Of, I'm going to be getting rid of this uh, eventually anyway, so I'm not going to worry about any more upgrades. I'll just buy that for 3,500, and we now have the tools to get started on the silage. So. I'll grab the withdrawal first. We'll get this field road up. Let me just quickly check where that greenhouse is sitting. Okay, so they're both pretty well full. So the productions are going to be fine for today. Um, I will have to top the greenhouses up before the end of the episode, but just to keep them going overnight. But um, yeah, they'll be fine until until that point comes. So let's get this back to our plot. Let's get that grass road up. And um, yeah, we'll build a pit. guys so the wind rowing's just about all done all done and let me tell you boy did that take a while um yeah definitely gonna want want to upgrade our mowing equipment sooner rather than later if we want to get a decent sized grass field because 
I mean, it won't be so bad after we actually plant the grass ourselves because we can use an AI to do it for us. But, um, yeah, that took a long time. <laughs> but let's get this put away. We can now, get, now go pick up our forage wagon. And we can actually pick some of this grass up and get it put into the silage pit. And then hopefully we can get some ploughing done today and start ploughing out our first field. Um, it's already getting onto the afternoon, so it's already 1.30 in game. Um, so yeah, the wind rowing did take a while. But we still have a bit of time. Plenty of daylight left. I'll quickly just empty this. As it is halfway through the episode, I'll just empty it and get it refilling so I can just empty it again at the end. Um, yeah, there's pellets, more pellets spawning, so that's great. Alright, that'll do for now. I keep unhooking it and forgetting that I can't. I can't fill it up unless it's hooked. So, alright, let's get to the shop. We'll get our forage wagon. Actually, before we do that. Yeah, so we'll have to get the forage wagon and pick these bits up here because I actually want to put the silage pit here. So, I'll pick that grass up first and then we'll put the pit down. Um, I'm sort of thinking maybe I should have, should have bought a bigger forage wagon, but we will be able to get the job done with this one. It's just going to take quite a few trips. I'm thinking like maybe two lines is going to fill this forage wagon up. It only holds 13,000 litres of grass. So we're going to get so much silage out of this. I can imagine it giving us over $100,000. Uh, so that's going to be a good little boost in, a, in income. Um, if we put down the methane production, we can just load it directly into there straight out of the silage pit. So. I want to just build that methane production close to the silage pit and then it's easy, I can just unload it directly there, you don't have to travel. So that's my plan at the moment. So yeah, you can see this isn't the biggest forage wagon by any means, but it's only, it's only our second month, uh, it's a work in progress, we just need to make do with the cheaper equipment for now because you know we want to get animals and stuff as well, I want to get some sheep down. Yeah, I want to get some chickens. Um, it's probably not even a bad idea to get some sheep down today, to be honest. The quicker I get them down, the better. Uh, they can start producing this wool, and they're pretty easy. All they take is just grass. So, and they don't take much of it at all. I could drop one far forage wagon in there, and it wouldn't even take the whole load, I don't think. So maybe it is worth getting some, getting some sheep. There's so much other things that we need to buy though. I mean, I'll just have a quick look here. If I'm going to buy some sheep, how much is that going to cost us? So there is this mod that I have. 50,000 that holds 75 sheep. But I mean, that's like half our money. We could get a little pasture with just a few sheep. But is that really worth it? I mean, potentially. I think it's better just to wait until I get one of these though. I mean, that's the one that I want. But I mean, that's nearly all our money. So I might hold off on the sheep for now. Even though they are going to be a good passive income. Um, yeah, we just need more money at the moment. We can't afford to be doing that. So like I said, I'm going to get this bit over here picked up first. Because that's where I'll be building the pit. So start with this one. Um, yeah, I just want to do mainly of these three lines, just so it doesn't delete the grass before I actually pick it up. So something like that. Uh, you can see it fills up pretty quick. It is going to take a while to do this, but yeah, it's going to be worth it, for sure. So there should be enough room for a pit, I'd imagine. I'll just pick a little bit more up just to be sh uh, just to be safe. 
grab this little bit here. Uh, so there's a little bit here. It's probably not really worth picking it up, but it is money, so. Alright, there should be an upper for a pit. I'll just get this filled up and then I can get it unloaded and I can start picking up the rest. So, let's just stop here. Uh, we'll go into silos. Go to the, the small bunker silo. This one here. So, I might just put it... Hmm. I want to leave a little bit of room to get through. If I get it sort of in line with that. Actually, you know what, what we will do, before we put that down, let's get the methane production, I know we're not going to be need the methane production for an episode, episode or two, but let's just have a look at where I can put it, so it's, I need to pick this grass up, um, because I don't want to build the pit too close to the edge, and then I can't fit the methane production. Um, because I wouldn't, um, geez. um, because then I wouldn't be able to actually build it until I buy the plot next door, uh, because I wouldn't be able to get it where I want it to be. So, I want the methane production in this back corner here, pretty much where the forage wagon is now, and then the bunker solo just there alongside the sawmill. So if I pick this up, I mean, that'll do. Try to pick this little bit of stuff up here. Just get it all out of the way because it's actually preventing me from building the methane production. Okay, so that's that should be good now. And then I'll go back into it. Okay, so I can fit it at the back here. So it ends like, all right. Okay. So about where that bush is. So, now when I build the bunker silo, I want to make sure I leave enough room. I want to leave enough room for me to get in and out from both sides. But I also want it close enough, so the bush is where the edge of the thing's going to be. So I think if I build it around here, and then if I build it to this far side here, so then I can actually turn straight onto the drop-off point, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll build it there. And I can get this emptied out now. Right, so I probably should have leveled the ground off. It did make a bit of a hill there, but I'll be able to fix that up. Not too fussed about that at the moment. We don't have very much money, and it does cost money to alter the terrain. Unless the hill is really bad, I won't really stress for a little bit, at least. So it is manageable. Alright, let's get the rest of this picked up.
into the pit for now, or the grass rather. Um, we may have to stop for today and finish it up tomorrow because I do still want to get the planks sold off before the price drops any further. There would have been a couple of pallets that would have spawned by now. Um, I do need to sort the greenhouses out so that they keep running overnight. And I'll also want to just reverse over this a couple of times. It is starting to get a bit uh, uneven and difficult to Traverse, so I'll try and flatten it out a little bit. Shouldn't take too long. Um, just so that when we do do it tomorrow, it's just a little bit more manageable for us. Uh, we've got, I'd say, over half of it loaded up so far. How many liters does it say that we have? Let me just get up the help menu here. Um, so we have 150,000 liters in here so far. So, we're probably going to get another 100,000 litres, I'd say, into here. So we're looking at about 250 to 300,000 litres of silage. I mean, that's nothing to laugh at. That's a lot of silage. That's going to make us a lot of money. If you look at the price of silage, for example. Uh, prices, where's silage here? So this peaks at $567 per thousand litres. So if we have 250,000 litres in here, that's $125,000 or more if we wait for the right price. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth mowing the grass up before ploughing our first field. I do think I'm just going to do a field of grass. I really do. Um, just so that when I do get this emptied, Drop it off into the methane production. I'm hoping that the methane's, because I'm going to have it an, on auto sell, I hope that's going to make me the same amount of money as what selling a silage would do. I might quickly test it before I do go all out with it. So I might just drop like say one load into it and see how much money that gets us over an hour. And I can use that to determine whether it's worth putting it in there or if it's just going to make me lose money because I want to maximize my my profits here so let's go over this a few more times now I'll go get these pellets loaded up um, I'll get these greenhouses sorted and we can finish up the silage tomorrow we should get that whole whole field ploughed tomorrow we should get it all seeded and we should get it um, all limed that's my goal for tomorrow. Should be pretty easily manageable. Um, but for now, let's just, let's just fill up these greenhouses. We'll get the pellets moved out of the spawn zones. Let's get this down here. Okay, I'll move some flowers out of the way. I'll bring this one with me. Oh, don't throw it. Move some of these mushrooms. So, the mushrooms I'll be selling again tomorrow. There's no point in me selling these now. The price is going up overnight, so I only sold them at the start just so I made sure that we had enough money to do what we wanted to do. I did actually expect us to spend more money this episode, but thankfully we haven't had a, a need to yet. But um, yeah, that we will we will be spending quite a bit next episode, I think. So yeah. All right. 
it's all cleared out. That's that pretty much emptied. Just get it refilling here. Hopefully that reaches from there. Okay, it does. Let's just hook up this trailer. There's a few planks here, which we can get loaded up and sold. I'm not sure how many thousand liters are actually in the storage. We'll have a quick look. Okay, so there's none. So we just have five plank, five uh, pallets of planks to get sold. So we'll jump in our tractor here. We'll get those loaded up. Um, because yeah, we won't be able to sell planks again for a while. The price is going to be too low. Uh, it might even be worth getting like the carpentry or something just for when the price is, is low and we can put some into there to start making some uh, furniture which will just help us make a little bit of extra money off these planks but um, I think the carpentry is like forty thousand dollars or fifty or sixty either so I don't really have the money just yet to buy it but we should do soon at least I'm hoping I don't really need to stack these up neatly or anything. And there's only five pellets. Um, while we're at the shop, we could get ourselves a cedar or our plough. I mean, we might get the lizard plough while we're there. And we can just put it on our trailer here and bring it back that way or even hook it up to the front actually and then we don't have to well that'll just give an extra slot to bring things back from the shop tomorrow we've got the last two pellets here as you can see it's already 5pm in the afternoon so the sun's going to start setting soon so we are running out of time here Last one. All right, very nice. That's ready to go to the shop. So I'll just turn this off and jump in this. We'll get this strapped down. You know what, we'll just do it in here. There we go. Let's get this taken to the shop, see what we get for it. Um, should be about the same as last time, $20,000 or so, so... Not as much as the last load that we sold, but... The, the load that we sell in the morning should be pretty good. We also have the flowers just collecting up, so when we do sell them, that's going to be a pretty... Pretty big load. Um, that'll probably be our biggest load so far but we won't be doing that for a few episodes <coughs> so we need to buy a plow uh, we need the cedar still um, we do need to put lime down so we need a lime spreader we'll need a fertilizer spreader we'll need a sprayer to spray the herbicide we'll need actually we won't need herbicide if we plant grass because they don't have weeds um, We will do. Pardon me. We will need a, a roller. Oh, I missed the missed the cell point here. Oh, something just turned around here. I was too busy yawning. <laughs> Obviously, from doing these late days, it's making me a bit tired. But let's get this sold. So 19,492, so pr very similar to last time when we did the five pellets. Um, it's good that that's out of the way, we can get this back. And yeah, the greenhouses are full, so we should be able to wrap up the episode and call it a day. 
so like I said the plan for tomorrow we'll finish up the uh, picking up the grass and putting it in the silage pit we'll get the silage pit compacted we'll get the cover over uh, let that start fermenting we'll get our first field ploughed I think I'm just going to go for one big field here just plough it all up into one massive field uh, I think I'm going to seed it with grass I might do soybeans um, but I'm going to want some grass on the way so I'm sort of just deciding which one I'm going to do there but um, once that's done we might be buying our second plot of land and doing some more mowing on that you know what I might plant soybeans just because we're going to mow the grass on the second plot and then we can play out, uh, we can do our second plot as grass because we're going to get yeah grass off of that that's going to go into the pit again um, the only problem is we're going to have to mow that ourselves so we can't use an AI because it's going to be the same deal as that plot that we just mowed until we actually plow our own grass field we have to manually do it so right, greenhouses are done well, thank you guys for watching um, hope you like the content if you do make sure to like and subscribe and yeah stick around stay tuned for part three um, I'm planning on keeping the season going I'm going to be uploading every day I will also be starting a new season on either Elm Creek or the new Pioneer map Oh, sorry, Frontier map. So, I'm not sure which one I should do. I'd like to do a start from scratch on Elm Creek, but yeah. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.